Unallocating transactions removes the link between them so you can make changes, but doesn't remove the values from your accounts. You may need to do this if you need to edit an invoice that has been paid or credited, or if you have allocated the wrong payment or credit note to an invoice. To unallocate a receipt or payment from an invoice, go to the Banking tab, then select the bank the transaction is in. You may need to use the Refine button to find the transaction. Once you have found the transaction in the Activity section, click on the Customer Receipt or Supplier Payment. This will show you which invoices are allocated to this transaction. You can now unallocate the invoice by clearing the tick boxes on the left hand side. You might have several invoices to unallocate and if this is the case you can clear the tick box for several invoices at once. When you're happy with the changes, click Save. You need to select Yes to save the transaction as a payment on account. If you use the VAT Cash Accounting VAT scheme, you're also prompted to choose a VAT rate at this stage. Choose the relevant rate then click Yes. You can also unallocate invoices from credit notes. To do this, go to the Contacts tab, then select the relevant customer or supplier. In the Customer or Supplier record, scroll down to the Activity section and select the relevant account allocation transaction. The date of the allocation transaction is the date you allocated the invoice and credit note. To remove the allocation, clear the tick boxes from the invoices and credit notes you want to unallocate, and then click Save. You've successfully unallocated the sales invoice and credit note, which are now outstanding. You can make any changes as required, or if the credit note was allocated to the wrong invoice, you can now allocate it to the correct invoice.